This system is what happens when you have cats. And as the owner of a cat, I fully understand how systems could get this bad. It has not been cleaned in what looks like several months, if not years, and that's why it's in this episode of PCDC. Let's get to it. Montex Century power supplies are designed with efficiency in mind. These high wattage units are all 80 plus gold certified and fully modular for the ideal setup in any build. Century units are also very compact, meaning they'll fit in most cases without compromise. Enjoy peace of mind with premium construction backed by a five year warranty. Learn more by clicking the link below. So a quick run through of the parts again that I use to clean these systems. I'm gonna start first with the isopropyl alcohol 90% or above. This is medical grade stuff, so it's pretty hardcore, but you could go for anything above 90% and that will uh, allow you to clean your components without damaging them long term. There's not, uh, there shouldn't be at least any impurities in this stuff. Uh, so when the alcohol does evaporate from the board, it doesn't leave behind residue and things that could damage the components long term. I have an electric duster here with interchangeable nozzles and uh, this uh, bristle antiseptic brush here that'll let me get some of the dust out of the small nooks and crannies as well as the fin stacks uh, in both the graphics card and the CPU cooler, you see. It's pretty hardcore. I have some precision tip Q-tips for cleaning in those small nooks and crannies as well. And we like to dip these in the isopropyl alcohol. I have a knockoff iFixit toolkit of sorts. It has many different tools, many different screw heads, uh, pry tools, things like that to get into pretty much anything in a modern computer. Um, the latex gloves, pretty self-explanatory there. And some shop towels to clean the tools and board components, things like that as we go along. Alrighty, I would say I'm not looking forward to this, but in a sick sort of way, I kind of am.
And we are finally finished with the cleaning segment. This is actually all for the case only. So we're gonna reassemble the case first. We had to strip it down to basically bare steel, bare plastic so that we could hose it down literally uh, with water in my backyard. It was that bad. I figured just hosing it down would be the quickest and uh, most effective solution. And we dried it up as best we could and then we let it sit overnight so that any remaining little water droplets uh, would evaporate. By the way, if you're worried about spraying your case with water and my wife saw me doing it, she's like, what about rust? Like, is that, a, is that a thing? Well, uh, yeah, eventually steel will still rust, uh, but uh, if you're only spraying it very temporarily and then you're drying it off after, you can see there's nothing wrong with this case at all. Uh, so don't let the form scare you. So we're gonna reassemble everything, starting with the front IO. We have the RGB up here. We have the uh, hard drive trays. We have all these different uh, dust filters, the front panel, SSD trays, and then a plethora of screws. Let's get started. Well, here she is in all her glory, looking pretty darn good if I do this on myself. Now, we really only changed the cooler here. He was using a stock Intel cooler with an Intel Core i7-7700, and I felt like that was a bit of a disservice to the processor. So we upgraded him to actually one of my other um, viewers, Hyper 212 Evos. This is actually from one of the systems that we cleaned, and uh, we were able to keep this when we upgraded him to a, a beefier cooler. Um, so I'm actually recycling this into another person's build, which is nice, uh, and you're you're probably looking at this thinking, Greg, why is this fan set up in a pull config? That makes no sense at all. Um, well, from a thermal perspective, first off, let me dispel any rumors. The difference in temperatures, right? There is no, it's nothing substantial. In fact, in many tests I referenced online, the pull config actually was slightly better than the push config. Now I know it does look a bit weird, but it just, it to me, looked even more strange with the fan on this side because the RAM clearance is just not there. The RAM is a little too tall and this fan actually stood up a bit higher than the top of the uh, fin stack here. So I thought moving it to the back kind of filled up some of the, the space back here. And we have another fan exhausting right next to it. So this is more like a push pull, but it's like a pull push, you know what I mean? Now there is one other thing I would like to address and it's this graphics card. This is a GTX 1060, six gig apparently, but you know what? I think he needs a bit of an upgrade. So how does something like a 1660 Ti sound? So we have the 1060 six gig, 1660 Ti. That is still a noteworthy step up. That's gonna be in the realm of GTX 1070, 1070 Ti performance. So I think he will definitely notice a bump. And again, he did not expect this upgrade. I actually told him otherwise. So this will be a, I think a pleasant surprise for him. And we're gonna lock this in here. Cool thing is it sips on power. These 1660, 1660 super cards, 1660 Ti's even, uh, they are very efficient when it comes to power draw under load. And I think his power supply will handle it no problem. So we've got actually in this case an eight pin and then we have an additional 
six pins. So the max we could go is eight plus six without adapters. And you don't want to use adapters if you can help it. Uh, so this card only needs, oops, only needs an eight pin. We'll tuck in the six pin. And there we go. Much beefier card. I think it looks much better in this system as well. And the system boots up just fine. It's always a good thing to see before giving a system back to your client. You want to check on that. Uh, I don't want to give them a dead system. This looks uh, good. We still need to um, update the driver for the new graphics card. That'll be a really quick and easy thing to do. Uh, but other than that, system seems functional. The temperatures seem very fine. And uh, last thing to do then is install the left side panel. So I hope this video was at least fun to watch. Maybe you learned a thing or two. I always have fun cleaning these. It's like therapy for me. So I, I get something else out of it apart from just being able to make a video. Uh, and these videos have been largely successful on this channel, which is why I want to keep them going. I want to find dirtier and dirtier systems to clean. And uh, that's all thanks to folks in the local area who are willing to give me their systems for a few days uh, in order to clean and, and kind of transform on video. Uh, so if you do again live in the Orlando, Florida area, or you're willing to drive to Orlando at least two times to meet to drop the system off and then pick it back up again. I'll, I'll try my best to meet you halfway, but I don't want to drive, you know, hours to, to meet somebody. Uh, not when there's plenty of uh, supply or inventory here in the, in, in the city. Um, then, uh, yes, yeah, send my wife an email, lisa at salazarstudios.org. If you have a system that is dirty, if it's not dirty, we're going to ignore the email. If all you need is like cable management, uh, you know, sort of, kind of, um, that, that we're not going to entertain those. Uh, it needs to be a clearly dirty system. If it has horrible cable management on top of that, that's an added plus. Um, but don't bother sending us an email if, it, if your system already looks pretty clean. Um, so she's sifting through those for me and she's forwarding me the ones that are legit. We have several already in the queue, so there will be many more uh, episodes, I guess, in this, uh, in this season of the playlist, PCDC, PC, deep cleaning. Might even get a few laptops in here soon. That would be interesting, um, just trying to clean up the interiors of laptops. Someone spilled something on their laptop keyboard. I'm a little more nervous about laptops because I can't replace anything that's broken and I don't want somebody giving me something that is broken and then, you know, you never know. They claim that I broke it, what have you. It's just a, a liability nightmare. So um, I, I try to stick with desktop systems like this. Even ITX systems would be fine. But uh, if you got a dirty system, I'd appreciate it if you sent her an email. All right, with that stuff out of the way, if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Consider subscribing and I will catch you in the next one. My name is Greg. Thanks for cleaning with me.